During a conference with Supreme Master Television team members on Tuesday, June 21, 2022, our most gracious Supreme Master Ching Hai kindly answered questions the members had in relation to the war in Ukraine, as she also shared some good news regarding nations supporting Ukraine and taking steps to counter Russia's aggression. I have some good news that I like to report to you. Oh, yes, great, Master. I read it on the news, <laughs> on the internet. Yes, Master. You know, the world. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Oh, wonderful. Like UK says that uh, UK troops must mm. prepare to fight in Europe again. Oh. Ah, they prepare. Yes. Well, it's not very good news, but what I mean is they have this kind of correct view already. Uh, yes, yes master. master. Not waiting till the last minute, like what happened in Ukraine. Yes, yes master. master. They are preparing and training. Also, NATO is training somewhere. The U.S. also. EU leaders, many leaders went to Kiev, including Macron. Yes, mm. that's right. Yes. The president of France and the leader of Italy, Draghi, and from Romania, and from Germany. Oh, yeah. Yes. Even Macron in Germany, they all came kissing <laughs> each other and all that. <laughs> so romantic. <laughs> it's some nice scenery for a change. Yes. For a change from all the war scenery all the time up to now, huh? Oh, definitely. Yes, Master. They seem to be all very united and supportive of Ukraine. Yes. Wonderful. Of things that are now even stronger than that. Кому і коли погрожувати, не обирає кому в Європі дійсно дарувати безпеку. Російська агресія проти України це агресія проти всієї Європи, проти всієї об'єднаної Європи, проти кожного з нас, проти наших спільних цінностей. І тільки об'єднаною має бути і наша відповідь. Ми вам enfin évoqué ensemble notre volonté de confirmer par les actes, au-delà des mots, que l'Ukraine fait partie de la famille européenne. Tous les quatre, nous soutenons le statut de candidat immédiat à l'adhésion à l'Union européenne pour l'Ukraine. Aujourd'hui, j'ai visité Irpin, un lieu de massacres compiuti par l'exército russe. Ce sont des faits terribles qui turbent dans le profond et que nous condamnons sans hésitation. Diamo il nostro completo sostegno alle indagini degli organismi internazionali sui crimini di guerra. Sie ne vmerla Ukraina. L'Ukraine n'est pas morte, ni la gloire, ni la liberté de l'Ukraine ne sont mortes. Vous pouvez compter sur la fraternité de l'Europe pour faire en sorte que l'Ukraine reste libre. I'm glad that they continue to help and support Ukraine. Yes, Master. Because uh, people worry. I also worry that they get into a uh, fatigue mood. Yes, right. Yes, uh, yes. If the thing goes on for long, then uh, people get fatigued. Uh, me too, but that doesn't mean we don't continue to support and pray for them. That's right. That's yes, right. Master. yes, Master. And also, Europe is beginning to use coal again now, like Holland. Germany and Austria, to begin with. They're doing some of the right things now. All that that we talked about before? Yes. They're doing better. Using coal is not ideal, but it's still better than being slave to Russia for gas. All oh, right, Russia. Besides, Russia just shut or halved or slowed the supply of gas. Just did that. Even without EU canceling. Right. They canceled the oil, but... All these countries did not cancel gas yet, and Russia just turned the tap off, turned the gas off, or slowed it down, gives less. Right. So they turn to coal now. Maybe later they will find something better. There's always something better. Science will find out. Yes, yes, right. yes, master. <clears throat> so in England, UK recently, the new army chief says that. We have to prepare to fight in Europe again. At first I thought, oh, he meant they are going to fight with Ukraine, in Ukraine, because Ukraine is Europe. Yes, yes it is. So I was thinking that's what he said. And I was kind of feeling a little bit more hopeful. 
because if they prepare to fight in Europe, then why not now? Yes, it will be too late already. Yeah, why not in Ukraine? Yes. 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 Why do they wait until Ukraine is gone, everything's destroyed, and then the next step is other countries in Europe, one by one? Yes, yes. yes. So they should hurry up, man, because this force from the Kremlin doesn't know any morals. Only when defeated, then they will give up. Yes, yes, yes. That's true. They will only give up when they are defeated. And that's what they need. And that's the language that they will understand. Right. The longer the war drags on, the more people die. And the more Ukraine might not have a chance to win. Even though they could win. Yes, 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 yes. mister. It's very positive that they could win. It's just that they need more appropriate weapons. Yes, yes, yes. yes. They need to close the sky above them. Uh, it's no fly zone. And they need more manpower. Oh, yes, Master. Yes, master. So I say if the UK is ready to fight in Europe, then they should do it now. Ukraine is Europe. Yes, for sure. That's right. Yeah. And they don't deserve all this suffering. Yes, 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 yes. Master. I don't care what anybody says. And the West should help them wholeheartedly. Not like Macron says that they have to make a special, unique council, not European Union, but like something below it, so that Ukraine can join in. My God, if you help a friend who is already in big danger, trouble like that, and you have to humiliate him? I understand. Unconscionable. Yeah. And yet, even advise him not to humiliate his enemy. <laughs> the enemy asked for it, came into his house. Rob everything, destroy his house, rape his wife and children, and then you should not humiliate that enemy. Tell me, what kind of language is that? And what kind of world do we want to uphold? Tell me. Yes, I understand, Master. Right. I'm sorry. I'm always angry when something is unjustified like that. The same, I'm angry and anguish about the animal people when I see them on TV, suffering every day. Yes, 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 Master. We are all earthlings, that's what they say. I agree with that. Animal people are humans, and we treat each other brutally, like hell beings. Yes, yes Master. Master. Fighting with whoever fights or not fights, even. Just oppress, abuse anyone we can. My God. That's why I can't even argue with heavens anymore. I'm trying so hard every day. I try to find all kinds of excuses for humans, but oh, most of the heavens are damned to destroy the whole human world. Oh, oh my no. gosh. And they told me only you and your disciples will be spared. They told me in my face like that. I said, well, how do I live if it's only me and my disciples? And my disciples are everywhere in the world. If you destroy everything, how do I even know if they live? Right. How can we contact even? Yes, yes, master. Terrible black vision. I understand. So horrible, so horrible. <coughs> I cannot tell you much more who told me all this and that and others. But they say it begins from now. Oh. It's begun. Seriously, already, last month. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, oh, let me see if I can tell you some. No, better not. But they have particular people, which I argue. I said to some people, they just don't understand. Humans, they just don't understand yet. Yeah, that's right, that's right. They can't get it. They don't understand the connection between eating animal people and cruelty and the distance from heaven because of that. They still don't understand it. So you cannot just kill all of them. Let me have time to teach them, to tell them. Let me have some more time. They say you had too much time already. Meaning I had too much time already. Yes, I understand. I say I know that. I know that. But I don't have enough time because they have been poisoned for so long. Many are waking up, I see. A lot of people are vegetarian and vegan nowadays already. But they say it's, it's too too late to even discuss anything. Gosh. I cannot tell you all the details, okay? Yes, Master, I understand. 
you will be very surprised and shocked. But I'm not allowed to. I just hope that by not saying it, it will not happen. Hopefully. I'm just trying to look on the bright side. Yes, 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 yes. Mister. And then they say they have a particular type of people they're going to destroy first. I can't tell you. I'm not allowed to. Because if I do, the zealous ghosts will find something to suppress that. Uh, make some strategy to overwhelm that. At least something. Yes, yes master. master. I understand. And I hope humans wake up soon, 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 soon. Or oh, else. My God. We could have a paradise on earth. So much money, so much food, so much abundance everywhere. A beautiful place. Yes, for sure. There was no reason to, to, to damage it, to destroy it this way, in that way. Yes, 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 Master. Okay, all right. So I just hope that NATO and all of Europe quickly decide to shorten the war. Otherwise, the longer it goes, the more people will die. That's right. And more food shortages and more starvation in the world. Yes, yes, Master. This is a pandemic also. Before I read, Taiwan was under control. Yeah, that's right. Very few infections and very few deaths, I mean, compared to elsewhere. Yes, yes Master. And now it's the same. And UK and every country, the COVID infection grows higher and higher. And now the, the monkey pox. The monkeypox originally, they say, only transmitted through contact, human to human contact. Yes, yes, yes. yes. But it jumped from animal people anyway. Yes, yes. And then the humans can infect each other by contact, uh, kissing, touching, eating the same food from the same plate, or from sex. Yes, yes, yes. 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 They wanted to open, to go back to normal and take COVID-19 just like for another chronic flu or something. Yes. Right. But it's not like that. It's not like that. And I told you already, even if it looks mild, it's not. The effect is long and invisible even, untraceable. That's the thing. The scientists don't even know yet. Maybe they will discover, but there's nothing to cure. It's a long-term and hidden effect. No. We all brought it upon ourselves, so whom can we blame? God turns away from us because our sin is so overwhelmingly shaking heavens and earth, even destroying the stability of the universe to some extent. Gosh. That's why if heaven lets us live, the universe will be in trouble as well because of the collective energy. Yes, Master, I understand. Like a car, even just one little hole in one wheel, the car will not function. Yes, yes. that's right. It happens if you drive on top of the nail or something. Even one nail <laughs> punches a hole in your wheel, that's it. The whole car has to stop. Yes, yes, yes. But the thing is, you can't keep driving with the kaput wheel. You can for a while only. Yes. So like our world right now, we are driving with even almost all the wheels kaput. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. Almost all the wheels on the big truck are damaged. No air. Yes, yes, yes. And we keep driving with one or two wheels that still continue. Don't stop and don't repair. Then you have an accident. You will die. Yes, yes. Right. And your car will also be kaput. Upturn, side turn, and then harming other cars on the street as well. Yes, exactly. Yes. So that's why what happens to us also affects the universe. That's what happens. Don't want to forgive us anymore. We don't repair our damaged wheels. Yes, yes, Master. We could repair. We just stop and replace the wheels. Just right now, if humans stop killing animals, people to eat as so-called food and eat some other foods, then the planet will be healed, will be whole, be abundant and beautiful and paradise-like. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. All the broken wheels have to be repaired. Maybe if one wheel is broken, but there are many other wheels you still can drive, like a big truck. Yes, yes, Master. But it depends on what wheel also. And then if you continue to drive like that, then many other wheels will also begin to get damaged. And finally, you can't. Yes, yes, yes. You might topple over on the street somewhere. You can't control the balance anymore. You can't drive anymore, and then you die, and the car is also 
gone in the pit or into the deep ravine or in the canyon and both car and driver die. Yes, yes, yes sir. sir. So this is our situation right now in our world. Most of the wheels are done, kaput, and we did not stop to repair. We should have stopped long ago and repair so that we can continue driving again in safety and peacefulness with peace of mind. Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. All right. Do you have any good news? Uh, questions? We have a question. Tell me. Master has said before that NATO should go in with force to flush Russia out from Ukraine. Mm. But NATO would actually say that they could not go in due to their rules as they would only protect themselves. What would Master say to NATO's comments that they could not go in to Ukraine because of their rules? Ah, to hell with their rules. People are dying, tens of thousands on both sides. And the world is heading to starvation. Yes. yes, Master. And what for does NATO keep the rules? Huh? The rules are for people, not people for the rules. Yes, That's right, Master. They just cowards. So easy. You know, life is never like black and white. You always have to act according to the situation. Yes, 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 right. Master. yes Master. We are intelligent people, or not? Yes, 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 yes Master. Supposed to be. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. And the NATO chief should know more than just ordinary NATO members. Yes, sir. He should know better than other people. That's why he's a chief. Yes, sir. Yes, so all this is rubbish. Unless Stoltenberg, the chief of NATO, wanted Ukraine to continue to suffer. Because the longer they suffer, the more other countries will want to join NATO. And he will feel more big and powerful as a chief. Oh, no. Or they want another world, starvation. Or just to say this simply, in Ukraine, unless he wants another holodom of famine, like in 1933. Oh, yes, yes. It was under Stalin's rule at that time. Yes, yes, yes master. master. And a great famine happened for more or less a year. It is said that 5 million people, estimated only, it might be more, who die in the Soviet Union. Most of them were Ukrainians. Wow. wow. Yes, the famine was a direct assault on the Ukrainian peasantry because Stalin moved a lot of Russian people to Ukraine and moved the Ukrainians to Russia, for example, like that. Mm. Yes, 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 And under Stalin, they controlled the peasants, the farming. They did not let the people have anything more than what Russia ruled. Yes, Master. Yes, master. So um, many of the people did not have enough food to eat. And Russia sent their police or brigade special units to always go into Ukraine to take their things. And they went into their homes all the time, different houses, and took out the food stuff if they thought it was too much food for that family. Yes, Master. Yes, master. And even then, even at that time, if somebody supposedly have more food than they were supposed to, according to Russian law at that time, then they were committing a crime. Oh. And then the farmer, the peasants who were hungry and maybe keep some food, even hiding it, the Russians would take it out and they would even kill them. Oh. Yeah. They kill them by firing squad for stealing or keeping Hiding even just a sack of wheat. Oh my gosh. They call it stealing from the state. Yes, yes, yes master. So it's because of hunger. The rural population at that time never had sufficient food to feed themselves. Oh, Imagine that. Yes, master. So, of course, according to that situation, starvation was massive, was huge in, in 1933. So tragic. Yeah. Oh. But even then, uh, Moscow at that time did not provide any extra relief for the famine, for the starvation at that time. And at the same time, the Soviet Union exported more than a million tons of grain to other countries, to the West, while their own people starved in Ukraine. Oh. Oh, God. Their food became the state's food. Yes, yes, yes. It was stored in any silos, and it became state own property. Right. 
Well, Russia has long sought to determine the destiny of Ukraine under Soviet communism. As many as four million died of hunger when Moscow forced people from small holdings to disastrously inefficient collective farms. The bitterness remains to this day. As the Kremlin's choirs praised Stalin, the world was told of a happy land. And today it is above all the granary of Eastern Europe, with the black earth bringing forth millions of acres of wheat. But 95-year-old Petro Mohelat knows what a lie that was. Forced collectivization of farms brought starvation and terror to his family. It was very scary. There was a brigade with pitchforks who came to every house searching for bread. I was five at that time. We locked the door and all the windows, but they used crowbars to come inside. And then they went to all the barns trying to find any buried bread. Food was seized to punish peasants who resisted collectivization. It's thought up to four million people died in what Ukraine calls the Holodomor, killing through hunger. Russia denies the famine was a deliberate attempt to break the independent spirit of Ukrainians. Alexandra Zaharova, age 98, remembers the corpses of the starved. What could I see? I saw people who died. They made a big pit and threw all the bodies there. My father went to Western Ukraine, taking everything good from our home to exchange for food. But he got nothing. You can say I had a life, but it was no life. Near the family home, there's a mass grave from the famine era. It's also an important part of modern Ukraine's story of origin. This idea of a nation in the 1930s suffering the oppression of a dictatorship based in Moscow. This old steel door here. Yeah. Ukrainians who resisted ended up in places like this. Some uh, historians say uh, five or 10,000 people was killed here in this basement. Interrogation cells of the secret police in Kiev. Was here. It's just Im impossible to imagine what went through people's minds as they came through that door into this place. Yeah, pain. Investigation of Stalin's crimes has been suppressed in Russia. They protect uh, Stalin, they hide truth, uh, they attack us, they don't re uh, recognize us like independent country. Why? We don't understand why. So everywhere Russia went all these decades, it's just starvation, destruction, demolition, and murdering people in different types of ways, either shooting them or just uh, starving them to death. Okay. Yeah, and everywhere is like devastated. Yes. And that's how they conquer many other countries. They even say that people who take food like that, they call them terrorists. Oh. Yes. Food terrorists. Oh. Oh. They say food terrorism must be stopped. So five million people die at least. Oh. And most of those were Ukrainian people. So evil. Yeah, yeah. And Russia. Since decades already, brought a lot of Russian people into Ukraine to make it more Russian and easier to control. Oh, yes, master. Yes, master. Then they wanted to Russianize all the Ukrainians and delete their identity at that time. Yes, yes master. So if Europe or NATO wants that to happen again, then they will just uh, stand by doing nothing and wait until that happens. And if Ukraine is lost, the whole Europe will be lost sooner or later. Yes, yes that's right. Oh, man, oh, man. And now you can see starvation already has begun in many countries in the world already due to Russia's war in Ukraine because they cannot export all this uh, grain that they have. That's right. And right. if you stand there and get rotten if it cannot go out to other countries. Yes, yes, yes. And Russia already sold their grain and sold it elsewhere. And then, of course, those under Russian occupation, 
or a Russian back, separatists, all this farm produce will go away, exported by Russia elsewhere. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. So it's already begun. The starvation of the world now, not just Ukraine like last time. This is nothing but an ordinary blackmail, because without the export of the Ukrainian food, hundreds of millions of people are in danger of starvation. Due to the war in Ukraine, the number of people suffering from hunger across the world could rise to 323 million. This was stated by David Beasley, executive director of the UN World Food Programme. Russia's invasion of its neighbor has effectively ended its food exports. The president of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, said that as of the 21st of May, Russia had blocked 22 million tons of food in Ukrainian ports, gradually stealing it, taking it out and trying to sell it. Here is a Ukrainian car standing in Jankoy and being reloaded into a Russian car. This is how the product gets into the Russian Federation. Ukraine is the fourth largest producer of grain in the world. Prices of cereal products are soaring. Experts are anticipating the worst food crisis in the world. Within two or three months, as experts predict, the countries of North Africa and the Middle East will run out of grain stock. In the meantime, the stolen Ukrainian grain goes to Syria. Egypt and Lebanon have rejected such deliveries. It's like global whole lot more famine. Yeah. Yes. So everywhere Russia went up to now is like that. Oh my God, they don't have any souls, these leaders of Russia. I mean, these wicked leaders. Some Russian leaders were probably good before. Yes, yes. But up to now, I mean, since communism took over Russia, everywhere they went is all bloody. Oh, yes, yes. 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 Blood everywhere, blood and destruction. Even Berlin, after the war, Germany became separated into West and East Berlin. And West Berlin continued to prosper and progress and repair all the war damaged cities, but East Berlin, no. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Russia seems to want to divide Ukraine to become like that also. Like East Ukraine and West Ukraine or South Ukraine, North Ukraine. Yes, that's right. Unless Europe wants to stand by and wait for that to happen, or NATO is just making all kinds of lousy excuses to watch Ukrainians suffer, then they don't have to do anything. And wait until Ukraine is lost. Yes, that's right. I'm worried about Europe, not just Ukraine. That's why I say NATO has to come in with force to flush Russian soldiers out, because they don't belong there. They don't belong in Europe. Yeah, that's right, that's right. No, they took Crimea just like that, just also by bombing and frightening people. And then they took the Donbass region also like that. Mm. Yes, 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 Everywhere they go, blood is running all over and destruction everywhere. And people, children die everywhere. Yes, yes master. master. They are soulless. Otherwise, they could not have the heart to do all this to an innocent country, their neighbor. Yes, yes master. There is no excuse, nothing. Everywhere they went is like that. So NATO better stop it. And if NATO doesn't have any guts to do it, then Europe and other countries have to get together and help Ukraine. I mean, practically, totally, with not just weapons, but also with force, with their own soldiers, expertise and everything. Uh, yes, yes, yes. They are pledging to continue to help Ukraine, despite fatigue. But still, the weapons don't always come on time. Yes, that's true. And recently there's some delay on purpose. Oh. I don't know what happened or why. And the longer the war continues without enough weapons and power, then more Ukrainians will die. Yes, yes that's, that's right. right. More Ukrainian soldiers will die and they probably will be fatigued also. And on top of that, NATO has to predict something, saying something negative. Like, oh, the war with Russia will be for a long, long, long time, huh? A long haul. Yes, yes, and because of that, it could affect the morale of the Ukrainian soldiers as well. Yes, yes, yes. Then they will feel, oh my God, it's a long time, so 
they don't feel like it. They thought, oh, it's quick, and we use all of our force and our might, our hearts, to push the Russians out of our country. But now it feels like it's a long, long time. The war will last longer. Yes, mm. yes, Master. The way the NATO chief says, it feels like a long time forever. That's right. Yes, yes. Why does his mouth have to always say things that are not conducive to help the Ukrainian people? That's right. Yes, that's true. So I'm not sure if NATO ever will go into Ukraine and help them truly, totally, practically. Yes, yes that's right. Unless America takes the initiative, takes the lead role and decides that they should go in to help Ukraine with force, with soldiers as well. Yes, yeah, yes, Master. And with all kinds of things like uh, no fly zone. Oh, yes, yes, yes. 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 If Ukraine's lost, then Russia will continue. Yes, yes. Because Russia will use Ukraine's property, bases, and equipment or food to continue to fight. Yes, yes, yes right. right. Also, for example, Russia went to Chechnya. They also destroy everything. Yes, 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 yes Master. Master. Master, could you tell us more about Chechnya? Oh. <coughs> so it's all Russian doing... Yes, yes master. master. And that was not the first time. It was the second time. <coughs> the first time was under Boris Yeltsin. The second time, at that time, the prime minister was Vladimir Putin. Yes, Master. He mm. wasn't president. He was prime minister the second time. And then... The first war had already damaged a lot, a lot, especially the capital, Grozny. And then in the second war, they have not even enough time. It was only uh, 1996 when the first war ceased. Ah, yes. They settled with a ceasefire with Boris Yeltsin. Boris Yeltsin signed a peace treaty with Chechnya in 1997. But two years later, the second Chechen war broke out again, started by Russia. At that time was the future president, Vladimir Putin. Yes, yes, yes. Only two years, the Chechen had not enough time to recover. That's why he attacked again, because he knew they are still vulnerable and weak. Yes, yes. So he was left as a big, big hole in the map. The United Nations called that hole the most destroyed city on the planet. Wow. Wow. Almost nothing left standing. That's so terrible. And almost no one was spared. Oh, goodness. The first war that Putin led was one of the worst humanitarian disasters in recent history. In 1999, when he was only the second most powerful man in Russia, he sent forces into Chechnya, just a few years after the Russian military had previously invaded under Boris Yeltsin. The two relentless Chechen campaigns set the template for Putin's wars. Russian forces flattened the capital, Grozny. The months of relentless and indiscriminate Russian bombing have left Grozny a dead city. By the time they'd left, up to 8,000 civilians were dead. And the UN described Grozny as the most destroyed city on Earth. Russia's wars have followed the same pattern ever since. Yeah, you can read it in history. Yes, yes, yes. And about 250,000 civilians were killed in the combined Chechen wars. Wow. And reports of rape, same like in Ukraine right now, reports of rape, arson, torture, and other crimes by Russian soldiers were widespread and cast as the uh, wholly necessary evil by those forces. How can any evil be necessary? Huh? Yeah, that's very nice. And one of the Russian soldiers at that time told the Los Angeles Times in 2000, we have to be cruel to them, to the Chechen people. Otherwise, we will achieve nothing. Yeah, Believe that? Wow. As his was. So in order to achieve something, you have to be cruel, no matter if they have done anything to you or not. At that time, Vladimir Putin, already a, a president, kind of uh, have a direct rule of Chechnya from May 2000. They still belong to Russia. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, some years later, another Chechen came in, became president, of course, and became rich. They enriched themselves 
during the time the root of Chechen Republic. And he is a very ruthless leader. He just all pro Russian. Yes, Master. Yes. All pro Putin. That's why he became president. I think he wasn't voted by the people. But he's just like a puppet for Putin. Putin appointed him to be a president. Oh, yes, Master. Master. This president, his name is Kadyrov. People refer to him as a brutal puppet or a pack dog of the Russian president, Vladimir Putin. He's a complete puppet of Putin, of the Kremlin. He even brought his people to Ukraine to kill the Ukrainian people for Putin, for the Kremlin. And he should know there was no reason to do that. But because Russia completely controls Chechnya, so all the leaders, whoever they might be, if they don't listen to the Kremlin, if they don't do what the Kremlin orders, they will not survive. Not to talk about it continue to be in the leading role in Chechnya. So, if Ukraine loses, it will be the same. Russia will install any local leader there in Ukraine just to be a slave and listen to absolutely every order from the Kremlin. Yes, yes Mr. You can see the evidence. Yes, yes, yes Mr. And this Mr. Kadyrov, the so-called head of the Chechen Republic, since 2007 until now. That is a long, long time for head of a state. Yes, yes Master. Similar to Putin and the uh, president of Belarus. They have things in common. Maybe that's why they like each other. Mm. And in order to survive so long as a head, I guess he has to be the absolute hand and feet of the head of Russia, the Kremlin. Yes. Oh, yes. The present leader of Chechnya, Kadyrov, is brutally oppressing, killing, murdering, torturing the Ukrainians because it's the same mentality as Putin and he's absolutely under Kremlin's control. But I don't know if he's proud of himself or he just has to for survival because if he truly wants to be proud of himself, he should not do all this. He's a man. He should be an independent thinker and a true leader of his people. And instead, he became like a devil for the Kremlin. For any Chechens who dare to question Kadyrov, the options are morbid. Either stay and die or run in fear. And nowhere seems to be safe. Secretive Chechen death squads hunt Europe and further afield. Critics of Kadyrov have been brutally murdered in Berlin, Vienna, Lille, and even Dubai. More recently, Kadyrov has turned his aggression into the Chechen Republic's LGBTQ plus population. Homosexuality and gender nonconformity have always been a taboo in the state. But in 2017, Kadyrov began what has since been described as a genocide of young men and women. It became a project of eliminating every person who could possibly be suspected of LGBTQ emotions or thoughts, if not activity. Survivors have spoken about being held in concentration camp like detention centers, where they were beaten and tortured with electric shocks. Others were freed with the understanding that their own families would punish them even worse than the state. When the media began to report this, Kadyrov declared that gay Chechens do not exist. Escaped survivors of the genocide are still fearful for their lives. Fearful that Kadyrov's death squad could come and find them. Kadyrov's reign seems to have no limits. But one wonders when he will go too far, even for Putin. Putin rarely condemns Kadyrov, and Russian money pours into the region. For Vladimir Putin, he is still convenient for the Kremlin. And that's the reason he remains in power and is able to do Whatever he does. It's really a very sad affair. I think his people will not like him 
or they don't like him, or maybe they never liked him, but they just have to be quiet because they fear war, they fear more bloodshed and more torture, more suffering from Russia. Yes, yes, yes. I think he also has, I hope, <laughs> maybe I'm wrong, he also had some moments of shame and regret, but he was already under the yoke, could not fight against the cramping. So he had to be brutal. Or maybe he is brutal because his soldiers that he brought to Ukraine to die or to fight are reportedly very vicious, extremely brutal. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. master. So maybe they're all the same gang, just in different locations. That's why they get together and try to destroy whoever they can in Ukraine. So there will be no future for Ukraine if it's lost. There will be no freedom. And as I told you already, the whole of the Ukrainian people all stand up against the war from the Kremlin. So if Russia has a chance to control Ukraine, then all these people will be treated like prisoners, slaves, or enemies continuously, and they will suffer no end. They will suffer, 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 no end. Yes, Master. Yes, yes. They will be uh, brutally oppressed or molested, the Russians will continue murdering or raping or taking everything from them. Yes, yes, yes. And they might not give them enough food to eat just like before, just like decades ago. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Therefore, that's why I don't care what happens to me because of all this karma. I have to say it. I have to say NATO has to come in totally committed to having Ukraine to flush Russia out. Yes, yes, yes. And if not, then Europe and other countries have to courageously stand up, go in to help Ukraine, because that means they're helping themselves, and they will be safe if Russia loses the war in Ukraine. Yes, that's right. If Ukraine regains their complete freedom, regains their land, regains their democracy, just like before anything happened, then Europe will be safe as well. Other countries also will be safe, not just Europe alone. Yes, yes, yes. Many other countries or states like Georgia, South Ossetia, Abkhazia region, Nagorno, Karabakh have the bloody hands of Russia on them and the destruction of all that. So many millions of people died because of Russia's invasion or interference or colonization, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Because of that, millions of people died everywhere, wherever Russian leaders went with their army. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Despite all that, the world still has forgiven Russia because they have things to offer. Yes, yes, yes. But I can't believe it. This kind of brutal regime from one leader to another is like a succession of brutality. Yes, yes, yes. So unless NATO wants Ukraine to experience that great famine, hunger, death again, or become another Chechnya, or become divided like Germany before, then they don't have to do anything. Yes, yes, yes sir. But the whole world will hold the chief of NATO responsible. Not just the chief, but some big members of NATO. The world, history, and heaven will hold NATO responsible for this war in Ukraine. And whatever else bad happens to Ukraine, like if they become like Chechnya. This is the first time that anyone has uh, has threatened to use nuclear weapons for conquest. This is the fundamental issue which too few people uh, in NATO have actually realized or made clear to themselves. And so I think we need to really be much more serious than we are in the, these kind of excuses. Oh, we can't defend the Ukrainians because it'll start a nuclear war really already is acceding to Russian blackmail. And that will not stop anywhere because once they've succeeded there, they will go on and say, we will use nuclear weapons when we attack some other country. You have to say, no, we will put a stop to this now. They'd welcome any other rich and famous and prestigious countries to go in as a member of NATO. Yes, yes. 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 So it's all about money, profit, and prestige. Nothing truly idealistic, nothing truly noble or 
even love thy neighbor type of doctrine. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. So I told you to hell with the rules. Yes. The no rules. When it comes to helping your neighbor in need, especially in desperate need, in life and death matters. Yes, exactly. Especially they know that the enemy of their neighbor is brutal, vicious, and has a history of atrocities everywhere before. Yes, yes, yes. Before the chief of NATO, Mr. Stoltenberg, had earned a good name in the world because he kind of negotiated between Russia and uh, Norway at that time and helped to settle it out. Yes, yes, yes. But uh, uh, now it's a big war. It's alive and death and bloody and destruction everywhere in one country. It's uh, Putin and the gang. Yes, yes, yes. Because they continue the tradition of Stalin. They couldn't care less about how many people die and how they suffer. If they're starved to death or if they're bombed to death or if raped or if molested or robbed of everything they have. Yes, yes. right. It's just like a highway robber gangster. Mm. Yes, yes. It's truly like that. Yes. Yeah. What else? That's right. Can you imagine any decent country would do that? No, 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 no. So the Russian people, they don't like this. They also went out on the streets to protest and even now they're on TV, they voice their opinion opposed to the war of Putin. Yes, 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 yes. Even recently, one of Putin's so-called allies also voiced openly against Putin's war in Ukraine. On the stage, Putin tried to justify the Ukraine war as legal under law. But the Russian president faced some pushback, this time from a key ally. We do not recognize either uh, South yeah, Ossetia yeah, city, or yeah, Abkhazia. And apparently this principle will be applied to quasi-state territories, which in our opinion are Luhansk and Donetsk. This is not the first time Kazakhstan has denied the independence of Donetsk and Luhansk. In June, Kazakhstan also said it would not assist Russia in circumventing sanctions. Now, according to reports, Russia asked Kazakhstan to join its forces in Ukraine, but Kazakhstan refused. If there was truly Putin sitting there at all. Yeah. But uh, this kind of possessed manifested from the dealers, the demons. They they cannot last long outside. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Not like normal people. We we are there always, twenty four seven. Yes. This kind of manifestation from uh, demons it won't last long, even if it was there, or even hologram, <laughs> <laughs> even just created by makeup or by the double. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I saw many photos of Putin before, and many photos of Putin recently. Mm -hmm. yes. Not the same face. That's right. Yes. Mm. The face, one side. It's not the same. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, if you don't have uh, the compare reason, or you don't look very closely, you won't see the difference. It doesn't matter if it's a different face or not. Putin is dead, I told you. Yes, yes sir. I have no reason to lie to you. What for? And it's confirmed by heaven already. And then my protector took him somewhere. I can't tell you where yet, okay? I don't want to. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Maybe in the future, I'll tell you. Right now, it's not good to tell. Yes, yes, yes. But the world doesn't know that Putin is dead. They thought Putin was sitting there. And even then, they still opposed him before that uh, economic forum. Yeah. Yeah. Master, why don't we recently put any... Putin news on with his pictures. Yeah, because, uh, <laughs> because we don't we don't report fake news. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Sorry. Yes, yes, master. If you know something is fake, why are you going to tell it to people? <laughs> no, 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 no. Why you can you can put those uh, pictures? Why you can put the, those news on? But. You have to put everywhere, like, fake news, fake news, fake uh, yes, news. Yes, yes. Then I will allow it. <laughs> <laughs> we have the five precepts. We always have to tell the truth. That's and right, we, Master. Yes. And we cannot tell lies. It is one of the precepts. Yes, 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 yes. And to tell a fake story is also a violation of our principle. Mm -hmm. Yes, Master. We don't report fake news. Yes, yes, Master. We have nothing to gain from fake news. Even if we do, we don't want to. 
Right, yes. right Master, yes. Because one of the precepts, one of our principles, is that you do not tell lies. You remember, right? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. You shall not kill, you do not tell lies, you do not steal things from people, you do not uh, commit improper sexual relationships, and you don't take intoxicants. Right. So, one of the precepts is that we don't tell lies. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. So we cannot <laughs> air the fake news, <laughs> yes. especially if I know it's fake. Yes, yes. Other people, they don't know, so they do what they want. <laughs> yes, Master. I know it's fake, so I cannot let you air it on, on our TV. Not knowingly doing that. Yes, yes, Master. All right. Any other questions? Uh, can Master please tell us when the war will end? Ah, I wish I could. Oh. I wish I could. I know many things. Uh-huh. Yes, Master. I know it. But if I tell you, it will turn out differently. Oh. I have learned my lesson many times, <laughs> not just one time, but one very particular time about vegan. People think it's difficult to change everything. Yeah, that's what I said. In fact, it's very easy. Just no more animal people in industry. No more. That's right. When there's no meat, then no heat. No buying. Yes, 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 exactly. So simple. And whatever already there, left over, throw away. Yes. And people can have many more new jobs when people will have more employment. Mm. Yes, yes, exactly. And the whole country will become more bright, more happy, and more blessed. They will feel it. Just right now, it's all surrounded by darkness, mostly. Many leaders have all very dark, 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 dark colors around them. They don't have any auras. They just have dark colors. I don't like the colors of Totenberg. Unless he changes his heart, unless he does something truly to lead NATO, to help Ukraine to gain peace quickly, and to prevent more war in Europe, and to prevent world famine, yes, 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 yes. his color now, dark coffee, will not change. It might get even darker wow. if he continues just to abuse his power, just to take advantage of the position, just to live well. Just sit there, get paid, now and then come out, say something. Yes, Master. Nothing good. Nothing really practically, truly good. If he continues that way, then his color that's surrounding him, that's exuding out of him, will be darker and darker like uh, some other leaders in the world. I don't want to name it at all. Yes, yes, yes. I am not allowed to tell you. I know I'm just not allowed to tell you. No, I right understand, Master. Master. Yeah. I keep asking many times, can I, can I, can I, but I cannot. Yes, yes, Master. Master. Like many other things, I wish I could tell you. Some things are very interesting, some things very happy, something sad. But right now, you can see in the whole world, you can calculate how long the war in Ukraine will last. Even if the NATO chief says that it will last long, you don't have to always listen to all this garbage from P and from Stoltenberg. Sound like stone, <laughs> like, like a mountain of stones. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Anyway, it's enough garbage already. I don't know why all this money that's spent to kill, to murder, and to war with neighbors or other countries, my God, that alone could make our world a paradise already with all the poor people being helped, with all the beneficial programs for humanity. Yes. yes. Then we will never have this kind of photographs of children, infants, with only ripped showing, even protruding out of their skin. Yes, exactly. You can count the ribs on their body because they're so hungry, starving everywhere. Yes. Most of the families here have already lost everything to the drought. Oh, waka, ngacha waka, korra waka, waka. 
The doctor is called to help a five-month-old boy called Atan, who's just been brought in by terrified parents. Atan is suffering because his mother is so malnourished that she's unable to breastfeed anymore. Another emergency unfolds a few steps away. It's a boy with malaria, but malnutrition has made him weak. The doctors do everything they can, working frantically to resuscitate the boy. But it's too late. Those causes are complex but don't include lack of food in the markets. There's plenty to buy but many can't afford it. Six years of conflict have taken their toll. Food prices have risen about 140%. The Yemeni currency has collapsed along with the economy. And all this war and destruction, my God, so much money will be spent later on if the war ends. So much money to reconstruct a country. Yes, that's right. The sad, sorrowful and brutal energy, I don't know how long it will take to rebuild it. Yes, yes, yes. yes. For both Russia and Ukraine, especially for Ukraine, the victim country. Yes, What's all this for? I don't know why NATO says they have rules. To hell with rules, I tell you. And now the whole country is in boiling water, on fire, in desperation, begging for help. With new warnings, Ukraine is outgunned and desperately in need of faster deliveries of arms from the West. Ukraine's government says it can respond with only one artillery round to every 10 fired by Russia. And in Mariupol, this new video of mass graves. Officials say as many as 20,000 people are buried there. Every day, I never heard President Zelensky not asking for help. That's true. He yes. is, Master. True. And at least two times, he asked NATO to commit totally. Yes. yes. Meaning with force and with soldiers and with the best equipment. Yes. yes. Still, they just turn a deaf ear and blind eye. So I asked Europe, all the European countries, and whatever NATO country wants to join, they must join forces to help Ukraine to flush their aggressors out. Yes, yes Master. If Russia has Ukraine, anywhere as a stepping stone, as a springboard, they will be soon in hell. No. Yeah, in war. War is hell, man. Yes, exactly. If you think that we are on Ukraine, think 300 times. Remember that Ukraine is only a short-term stage in preparing for strategic security У нас кончится терпение, мы просто запустим что-нибудь тяжелое в сторону Вашингтона и Лондона. Польша доиграется. Было три раздела Польши, четвертый будет последний. Границы России нигде не заканчиваются. Придет время и Польше ничего не останется. Нет Прибалтики. Мы снова нашу армию подведем к западным границам. Они трусливые, они боятся, их нужно брать испугом, кнутом. Мы э, ни в коем случае не можем остановиться на полпути. Наши подлодки способны выпустить более полутысячи ядерных боеголовок, что гарантированно уничтожают США. И все страны НАТО в придачу. We are naive, General Milley said yesterday. We're naive to believe that this is all going to be wrapped up in a matter of weeks or months. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid Vladimir Putin has struck out on a course that as long as he's in control of those mm -hmm. Russian military forces puts at risk not only Ukraine, which we know today, tomorrow, Poland, the day after, Baltics. Mm -hmm. We have to be ready to stop this man because I can tell you he won't yeah. stop at Ukraine. So I just hope they wake up and do it. Yes, yes, yes. I'm saying all this is bad for me, bad karma for me. But I have no heart to see the Ukrainian people suffer for nothing like that, from nothing. Understand that. Yes, just like uh, history repeats itself again. Always Russia came and molested them, possessed them, controlled them, destroyed their country and destroyed their people.
murdering, raping, and killing their people like that. Yes. 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 Destroy their lives, destroy their country. They have done nothing. Just because they're smaller, they're weaker. And the whole world cheated them to give up their nuclear weapons with just uh, empty promise that they will protect Ukraine. Yes. Yes. So how bad can that be already? And NATO talks about rules, huh? Just garbage. Do you hear me? Yes, yes. yes. exactly. Absolute rubbish. Nothing more. I don't like the darkness that Stoltenberg exudes from his being. I really hope he understands better. Otherwise, he would just be dragged lower and lower and lower and nearer to hell and then become one of them, one of the demons. Yes, master. Right now, he's possessed, but he will become one of them if he continues like that instead of fighting for goodness against evil. Yes, master. Yes, yes master. master. And not just him. In Europe, there are some more. You know already. Yes. yes, yes you know, at least one of them. Okay, then, I'm sorry to have, you know, ended with a negative note, but what else to say when we talk about Ukraine and the unjustified war from Russia, from the Kremlin? Oh, right. Yes. Yes. Not all Russian people agree with that. It's just the Kremlin. Yes. Just yes. Moscow, the evil, stupid, greedy government continues the, the trend of the earlier leaders. Yes. yes. Oh, so sad, so sad. Oh, so sad. These children are on the move inside Ukraine, trying to stay ahead of the fighting here. Many of them orphans, most of them from broken homes. They are working hard here. But towards what kind of future, no one really knows. All of them went through something, she says. Some of them were caught in the shelling or the bombing. Some of them had no shelter because their homes got hit. Of course, each of them has trauma. Her legs are trembling, she says, and she's harming herself. They are stressed by moving from their hometowns in awful conditions, she says. They are worried about families, the instability, and they feel alone. What I offer, she says, is support and love. They all need love, so much love. Irina says, I just want to comfort them and make their trauma smaller and smaller and smaller. Nicole Bulishenko is 12 years old. For two months, she's been sheltering from the bombs in a city under attack. It is so painful. I'm anxious about everyone I love. What about her family? Are her family OK at the moment? Yes, she says. Suddenly, the things she wants to say become too difficult. But it is a glimpse of the harrowing impact all this is having on children here. Terrible. Poor people. All these innocent children. My God, how can they live like this? Their childhood is ruined. Yes, yes, master. And what you experience in your childhood will be almost impossible to erase. Yes, master. Yes. Let's pray for them, at least the children, that they might recover their innocence and their optimism and their enthusiasm to continue to experience good world and education and look forward to their bright future. Oh, because that will make their parents and grandparents happy too. And that will contribute to a peaceful energy for Ukraine and for wherever they go to take refuge at the moment. And to have hope that the war will end soon. Pray that they can return to their own land because there's no place like home. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Our humble gratitude to most compassionate Master for her continuous safeguarding of humanity and constant faith in our godlike potential to overturn the misfortunate state of our world and make it a paradise. 
Our hopes and prayers for the urgent awakening of humankind to the simple solution that is fully beneficial for all to stop any kind of violence such as the cruel war in Ukraine and the ruthless exploitation of the gentle animal people. Thus, may we rediscover the vast abundance that our planet offers as suffering finds no more place in all hearts. We wish most loving master vigorous wellness and mighty protection by all majestic divinities. To hear more of Supreme Master Ching Hai's thoughts and wisdom on the devastating outcomes of war and why the West should now take military action in Ukraine before it's too late, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples at a later date for the full broadcast of this conference.